Good evening, dear ladies. The Siata Dishmaya. Let's bless that we will all have the Schut to greet Mashiach Zitim Bachamim Wim Bim Rabbi Amen Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Eliyahu Tishbi Eliyahu Viladi Bim Rabbi Mashiach David Eliyahu Nabi Zakhul Atov. And may we all have the Schut to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Hashlishi Bim Rabbi Amen Amen. Kiyah in Bayin Yeru Bishuvad Na Etzion. Natata Kum Tarachem Tzion Kiyet Lechanena Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Vnashuba Chadesh Amenu Kekedem. May we all have the Schut to go to the land of Israel on the wings of eagle, and may we all have fun. In Eretz Israel, in the land of Israel, Bezrat Hashem. Hashem, Hashem, Nasev, Natsliach. Enod milvado, Hashem, Spatay tiftach ufi agiti ilatecha. And everything that we are doing, Bezrat Hashem, is for all Israel. And the Siyata Dishmaya, it's also the refuah shlema for healing to klal amo Israel. And also lilun nishmat. האדמו"ר מזביל, that passed away today in Yerushalayim, עליו השלום, זכותו תגן עלינו. And בעזרת השם, רפואה שלמה, healing for everyone in all the list, everybody that Hashem gives me to, to uh, bless to bench and everybody else that needs from Aleph to Taf and all of the people that are healthy, may Hashem continue their health mentally and physically. בעזרת השם. Dear ladies, this is Shabbat, Shabbat uh, Shoftim. This is the portion of um, Shoftim, Judges. And Be'ezrat Hashem, we are going to look at the way we'll learn uh, about the ways of the evil inclination and how can Be'ezrat Hashem, we can do tshuva and Be'ezrat Hashem, re uh, repent to Hashem and Be'ezrat Hashem, do the will of Hashem. So it starts, Shoftim ve'shotrim titen lecha bechol sharecha, judges and officers, shall you appoint in all of your cities, in all of your gates, Asher Hashem Elokecha noten lecha, which Hashem, your God, uh, gives you, noten lecha lishvatecha to all of your tribes, ושפטו את העם משפט צדק, and they shall judge the people with righteous judgment. So I would like to continue from it's, yesterday. We spoke about Shoftim Veshotrim, and we spoke about that Vesiyat Adishmaya in our face, Vesefer Etzra, in the book on creation that is considered, that was written by Avraham Avinu, Allah Vashlam Shchutot Agen Aleinu. It's considered that we have seven gates in our face, and the gates are the two eyes, the two ears, the two nostrils, and the mouth. And all of them together, it's seven. And Hashem put gates to each one of them because these are spiritual parts of the body that by them, Besiyat Adishmaya, uh, all of the body comes to action. Because you know that every, everything that we do is uh, divided into three parts. One is the thought. The other one, there are three clothing to each mitzvah or sin that we do. It's a thought, it's a speech, and an action. So... Uh, it, all of the spiritual part is in our face, and the the eyes have have the apayim to close them in order not to see things that we are not allowed to see, things that are not good to see. The ears, it says, madua ozen kasha yaraka. Why is the ear hard? And the, this part of the ear is soft in order to close the ear, in order not to listen to slandering, gossiping, and lies. And the siyata dishmaya, the nose. You know that we do besamim on Motzei Shabbat. We do the besamim in order that the soul will have will have the pleasure from this. And and the nose besiyat adishmei we can close with our fingers. And then we have the mouth. The mouth has two gates because the mouth. Um, after we speak, all of the organs of the body listen to what we just said because the thought is hidden. From everyone, the action is known to everyone, but the thought is hidden. Only Hashem knows our thoughts. But once we take the thoughts out of our mouth, then all of the organs by the ears listen to our thoughts, and by this we come to action. So the mouth might might tell us how many what shall I do to you? Hashem says in chapter 120 in, the, in Tehillim that King David writes, what shall I, Hashem says, what shall I do to you? A tongue that is deceitful. We have a gate of teeth, which is bones, and the gate of, of a flesh, which is, which is the a lips, in order that we will only take out of our mouth, Besiyat Adishmaya, 
holy things and good things for our livelihood and and to better ourselves and other people and to do charity with our mouth by giving good words to others a mouth that only precious stones come out of our mouth so dear ladies i want to go to the first sentence in in tehillim so first of all a, a flower makes itself pretty makes the whole garden pretty so we start by fixing ourselves first we need to do everything that we say we can't tell others to do when we don't do it so first we do what 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 we are what we are preaching to others we need it to practice so and I'm reminding you that there's a mitzvah to say something that is heard and there's a, also a mitzvah to say, not to say something that is not heard. That you know if you'll say it, not only people will not listen to you, but they will start fighting with you and slander you and say lies about you. So, so it's, it's, it's a mitzvah to say things that will be heard in a nice and polite way, in a loving way like the face that is reflected in the water our face that is reflected in the water this is the heart of one person to another which means if we love a person and we show him love he also will show us love but if we dislike him and we'll be one in our mouth and one in our hearts so the other person also feels it because this is an energy that flows from one person to another so Hashem knows if we love him and he knows if we love him we love his children so if we love his children we love Hashem it's an equilibrium of love between us Hashem and Klal Israel Bezrat Hashem and humanity so dear ladies we go back to the first sentence and we have a hint over there that this is what Shoftim Veshotrim Titen Lecha we put judges and officers in all of our gates and it says, Natan lecha lishvatecha veshaftu et. So lecha to you starts with a lamed. Lishvatecha to your tribes starts with a lamed. Veshaftu, they will judge, starts with a vav. Et, the, with an, starts with an aleph. Together the initials is Elul, the month of Elul. So this is a hint what we need to do in the month of Elul. And know that why why does over here Moshe Rabbeinu writes Lishvatecha to your tribes because there is a, um, the Rashash says that Rabbi Shalom Shabbazi Rabbi Shalom Shabbazi Shchutot Aganalenu Shchutam Aganalenu Bezrat Hashem in the words of the Arizal Bezrat Hashem that there are twelve paths of the prayers in heaven parallel to the twelve tribes. So dear ladies. This is the time to, to daven in the month of Elul especially because the king is in the field to daven from our heart, to pray from our heart to Hashem, to speak to Hashem. Everything, everything. I've sinned Hashem. This, and it's true to the Jewish people and it's true to the, to the nation. I did this and this and this and this. wasn't in your will. And please show me the way of repentance. Help me to repent. I truly want to do that. You know that you created the evil inclination and it's from fire and I need your help in order to overcome it. Because it says, it says, Bemasechet Kiddushin, page 30, Amud Bet, it says, This is how Hashem said to the children of Israel, Banai, my children, Barati Yetzerara, I created Yetzerara, you know, it's written in Ishayahu, chapter 45, verse 7. Hashem founded the light and created darkness. Ose shalom, Hashem makes peace. Uvorera, and He created evil. He created the evil inclination. And why is the evil inclination, was, why was it created? In order that we will have the freedom of choice, in order to choose, Besiata that we will choose good in life, we will choose life, we will choose the blessing. Like we see in Parashat Re, you remember the last parasha, Parashat Re, it's written in the beginning of the Parashat Re. Re'e anokhi noten lifnechem hayom bracha veklala. It says, see, 
I present before you a blessing and a curse. So we will choose the blessing by following the way of Hashem. And by this we have merit to be under the throne of Hashem. When we pass to the true world, this is only an intermediate world. We come over here for the fixing. We are guests over here. We have everything that we need for our fixing. Once we come in, we know we go out. Just we don't know when we are going out. So every day that Hashem wakes us, every day, every morning that we wake up, it's a present from Hashem. It's a present that we can repent on that day. So Hashem says, Banai, my children, Barati I created the evil inclination. And I made a, a seasoning for him, which is the Torah. And if you study the Torah, then you don't fall in his hands. And why? Because Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am Hashem your God. Hashem put his essence inside the letters, the words of the Torah. So once we study the Torah, we are in a lesson of Torah, and we read from, from the book of Torah, Besiat Adishma, all of this energy, the light of Hashem comes to us because in, in the beginning Hashem created the light that He concealed. This light was such a big light that you could see from the beginning to the world, from the beginning of the world to the end of the world. But because He saw that there will be wicked people in this world, Hashem concealed it. But the light, we have still a small portion of this light in three things. One of them is the sun. This, and first of all is the Torah, part of this light is in the Torah. So when we read, it's, it goes it's, it, from, from, the, from the letters into us, the letters of the Torah, and then the sun, and then the, the candles that we light on Hanukkah, the light of the candles that we light of Hanukkah, the, a part of, the, of the, this light that is concealed, this magnificent light for, of, of eternity of Hashem is concealed in the light of, of the candles of Hanukkah. So we have three things, the Torah, the sun, and the candles of Hanukkah. So that's why it's so important to look at the candles of Hanukkah when we light the candles, to sit like half an hour to look at the candles and to, to do tshuva and to repent. So let's continue, Be'ezrat Hashem. So we see that the month of Elul is hinted over here. And this goes back like the song that we sing when we accept Shabbat, Be'ezrat Hashem. Sof ma'aseh b'machshavat chila, l'chad odi likrat kala. So at the end of an action is with a, a, a thought. It starts with a thought. The end of the action starts with a thought. Why? Because the month of Elul is the end of the year. That's why Machshava in numerical value, Besiyat Adishmaya, is Elul, a numerical value. So Besiyat Adishmaya, we see over here that, the, uh, that Elul is the, uh, the end of the action because it's the end of the year. And we know Bemasechet Ketuvot, it's written that Notnim La Betula Shnemasar Chodesh. We give to the Virgo. Virgo is the constellation of the month of Elul, all of the 12 months, which means if we repent because Hashem is in the field waiting for us to repent. Hashem is roaring and he's waiting, he's breaking all of our shells of sins that we did that, that uh, uh, prevent from Hashem's light to come into our hearts. So he's roaring in order that all of these klipot, the shells will go away so the light of Hashem will come into us. And we'll have the schut to repent before the judgment day, before Rosh Hashanah. So Besiat Adishmaya, we see, so what does it mean? And it says also, Bemasechet Rosh Hashanah, page 10, 30 yom b'shana, chashuvim k'shana, 30 days in a year, are considered like the whole year, which is the month of Elul. Which means, sof ma'aseh b'machshavat chila. The end of the action is, it starts with a thought. So this is the time to repent. What is Maase action? Maase Mem Ein Shin Hei. Mem Ein Shin Hei is in uh, initials is Moach Shalit Alalev. That the mind will, will rule over the heart. And we'll explain it in a few minutes by, um, by Bnei Zion that, uh, that uh, refers to Rabbi Pinchas Friedman, that refers to the Arizal and the Baal Shem Tov and the Ramban Bezrat Hashem. So we'll go through all of this and we'll go also through Abad Chaim 
and the Gemara Bezrat Hashem. So we have it over here in front of us. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to go, you know that on, on Rosh Hashanah, there are three books that are opened. The Book of Life, the Book of Death, and the Book of Intermediate. The Book of Life, immediately all the righteous are written in there. The Book of Death, all the wicked immediately are written there. The Book of Intermediate is the ones that have good deeds and, and Torah and good deeds and commandments that they follow. And they also have sins. This is the Intermediate. So it says the wicked person, his, the evil inclination judges him. A righteous person is judged by the good inclination. And the intermediate, the one that is in between, both of them judge him. And it says, this is, it says, it says, this is like the Tana says, in Masechet Baba Kama, it says, Shnai mochazim betalit. Two are holding a talit. Ze omer, ani metzatia. One says, I found it. And the other says, I found it. They are both fighting over the same talit. This is parallel. The talit is parallel to a human being. And the ones that are fighting is the good inclination and the evil inclination over the heart of the human being. So now we're going to go to King Solomon, to Kohelet. Look how beautiful it is. Kohelet, chapter 10, chapter 9, I'm sorry, <laughs> chapter 9, verse 14 and, and 15. And it's written like this, and I'll translate in a minute. Irk tana v'anashim ba'me'at, uva ele ha'melech gadol v'savav ota, u'bana ale ha'metzodim gdolim, u'matza ba'ish misken chacham, so let's translate it. There was a small town with only a few inhabitants, a few people that live in that town. And a mighty king came upon it and surrounded it and built great siege works over it. And it says, present in that city was a poor wise man who by his wisdom saved the town, yet no one remembered the poor man. So now we're going to go to, to the Gemara Lenedarim Besiyat Adishmaya. We're going to go to Masechet Nedarim, page 32, Amud, Amud Bet. And we're going to learn how, how we are, how Hashem created us, Besiyat Adishmaya. So it says over here, Katu, אמר רמבי בר אבא, כתיב אברהם וכתיב אברהם. We know that אברהם אבינו, אברהם הפורפאדר, was called at the beginning אברהם without the hay. And then Hashem added the hay to his name, and he said that now his name will be אברהם. בתחילה עם ליחו הקדוש ברוך הוא, at the beginning, at the beginning Hashem Hashem made, uh, made him a king, a ruler, over 243 organs. And eventually he made him, by adding the hay to his name, hay is in numerical value five, by adding the hay to his name, he became a ruler over the 248 organs that we have. You remember this is parallel to the 248 commandments that we have to do. Ramach Evarim keneged Ramach Mitzvot Ase. So, dear ladies, Avram without Aleph is one, Bet is two, Reish is 200, Mem is 40, it's 243. With the hay that Hashem added, Vesiyat Adishmaya, it's 248 parallel to 248 mitzvot commandments that we have to do. So let's see. What are the five organs that Hashem added to, to Abraham Avinu in order that he will be the ruler of all of the organs of the body? So it was two eyes. It says, the Gemara says like this. Eluhen, Eluhen, Shteinaim, two eyes. Two ears. Rosh it means the tip of the organ that, uh, that was circumcised. 
How do we know that he gave him the organ that was circumcised? Because Hashem told him, Yetamim, told him, you're going to be honest, you're going to circumcise yourself. So once he did the mitzvah with, with the tip of the organ that was circumcised, then he was a ruler over it because it's very hard for a man to be a ruler over this organ. But by doing the mitzvah of circumcision, then Besiyat Adishmet, the name of Hashem Kel Shaddai is on it, Baruch Shem Kvod Melchut Olam Ve'ed, and by this he can overcome the evil inclination. So we have two eyes, this is two, two ears, it's four, with a, with a tip of the organ that was circumcised, it's already five, five organs, this is the five that Hashem added to him, and by this he became a ruler of all of the 248 organs of the body. So, here, in the Gemara, Masechet Nedarim, it goes, Ir Vanashim. We just spoke about it, that there was a small town, Ir Ktana, so what is the small town? We just spoke by Kohelet, chapter 9, verse 14 and 15, about the small city. The small city, what is the small city? The Gemara says, the small city is the body of the human being. Vanashim Bameat, and there are a few people in it. Eilu evarim. These are the organs of the human being. Uva elea melech gadol. And then a big king came to her. Vesavavota. And, and it was uh, surrounding uh, the body and the organs from all, of all sides. As ze yetzerara. This is yetzerara, the evil inclination. Because you know when a, when a baby comes to this world, he comes with the evil inclination. So, and he made siege on her. This is all of the sins that the evil inclination causes us to do, not to listen to Hashem. And then there was a poor person, a wise poor person. A wise poor person. This is the good inclination. And by his wisdom, by giving us advices, Besiata Dishmaya, he made us uh, repent and, and save ourselves from the evil inclination. Zot Masim Tobim, this is repenting and good deeds and following the Torah. And the human being did not remember the, the poor, the poor wise person. Which means that once the evil inclination speaks to us, we, we, we forget the, the good inclination. It just controls us unless we remind ourselves and we think. The end of an action is thinking first. This is why we came. It's all of our life is a big. It's a, it's a, it's a big job and work to follow the way of Hashem, because the job of the evil inclination is to make us uh, go to the sides. But by listening to the good inclination and following the Torah, we go back to the middle path. So, Besiyat Adishmaya, we see that the, when the evil inclination speaks to us, if we don't remind ourselves, and we'll speak about it, how do we do that? We won't remind ourselves of Hashem, then we, don't, we forget the good inclination. And it says, um, it says by Ari Zaland, by Likutei uh, Marim, Balatanya, chapter 12, it says over there, that where, is the, where does the evil inclination and the good inclination sit? They are both sitting in the heart. On the left side of the heart, this is where, because over there flows the blood, over there, Besiyat Adishma is where the, the evil inclination sits. And on the right side, where the air is, is where the good inclination sits. And it continues, which means wisdom strengthens the wise more than 10 rulers. And what does this mean? So it says, Tshuva, because the old man, the old wise man gave, gave the, the human being, gave this person the wisdom and, and the thought to go in the way of Hashem by, by following the Torah, the commandments, by doing good deeds, and by doing charity. 
So a chokhmat ha'oz lachacham, which means that wisdom will give strength to the wise more than ten rulers. Who are the ten rulers? Everything is compared to the body. So the Gemara says, who are the ten rulers? A chokhmat ha'oz lachacham, wisdom will give strength to a wise person more than ten rulers. And this is also from Kohelet, Kohelet, which is King Solomon. He wrote Kohelet, chapter seven, verse nineteen. And this is these are the ten, the ten rulers, which are two eyes, are two ears, are two hands, are two legs. Together, it's already eight. A mouth, and the tip of of the organ that is circumcised because always the mouth is paralleled to the organ that is circumcised. And the, Ma the Maharal says a beautiful thing about this. Of course, these are, why? Because these are the organs that do the action. So they are, out of them, five of them are spiritual and five of them are, um, are action-wise. And the five that are spiritual, uh, the two we have, the two eyes, the two ears, and the mouth. The two eyes, the two ears, and the mouth are spiritual, are, the, are higher in level than the other five. The other five are the two hands, two legs, and the tip of the organ that, that was circumcised. So all of this, there are five parallel to five. All of them are parallel to, to each other. So how do we help Bezat Hashem, get help Bezat Hashem to do the will of Hashem? And it says, the Gemara says that there's a person does not sin unless a foolish spirit went into him. And how do we know this? Because this is why we need shotrim. We need shoftim veshotrim titen lecha bechol sharecha. We need judges and officers in all of our gates in order that we won't sin. But if you take the word judges and officers and shoftim veshotrim in Hebrew and you take from shoftim, from judges, the pay from, in, from, from the middle and you, you take it out and you take from shotrim, from the officers, the reish in the middle, what's left over is shotim, is foolish. That's what's left over. So otherwise we wouldn't sin. Otherwise we'll do the will of Hashem. So only when a foolish spirit goes into us, then we sin and we don't do the will of Hashem. So let's continue. And the Arizal says like this, that in order to come to an action, we have three levels. We have the thought, we have the will, and we have the action. So know that Hashem created four worlds, Atzilut, Briya, Yetzira, Vasiya. And Atzilut is glory, is nobility, is the highest one. And then we have Bria, it's lower than Atzilut. This is creation. And, and then we have where the righteous Tzadikim are there. Then we have Yetzira, Yetzira is foundation, and over there is the angels. And then we have Asiya, Asiya is action, this is this world. So, Machshava, the thought, is in in Bria, in creation, in the world of creation. We have the will, the will is in the world of foundation, and we have the action, which is in the world of action. So everything is divided to three. So how do we come, the Siyat for an action? So first of all, everything starts with the end of an action is by a thought first. First comes the thought. Okay, then comes the will. If we want to do it, then we'll do the action. But if we don't want to do it, we won't do anything. So we have to have the will to do something. And the will is expressed by the mouth, by the words that we say. That's why every mitzvah and every sin is dressed up by three clothing, a thought, a speech, and an action. So, dear ladies, let's continue Besiata Dishmaya. So, parallel to this, Harizal says, Alava Shalom Sutot Aganalenu, he says, parallel to this, Hashem gave us, this is the, the strength, this is spiritual strength that Hashem gave every human being thought, will, and action. So, it starts with a thought, then comes the will, and then comes the action. So, the end of an action is 
the beginning, in the beginning is a thought. So we see over here that Hashem also created the soul with five Main levels. five levels. And the five levels are, one, two of them are under the throne of Hashem, Yechida v'chaya, and each one is beneath the other. So Yechida is the highest one, then Chaya is lower, lower than this, and then the Neshama ben Neshama, a soul in a soul it's called, and then Besiyat HaDishma, we come to the Neshama, which is a lower part, and then we come to the Ruach, which is a lower part than the Neshama, and then we come to the Nefesh, which is the lowest part. So the Neshama, the Arizal says, is in our thoughts. The, the place of the Neshama is in the head, in the mind. And the place of the Ruach, the lower part of the Neshama, the, uh, which is called Ruach, is in the heart, where the will is. And the lowest part of the neshama is in the liver. The liver cleans the blood, and the the nefesh, the lowest part of the neshama, the nefesh is in the blood. That's why it's written. We learned in Parashat. Um, we learned in in Parashat Re'e Besiata Dishmaya that we know that the nefesh is inside the blood. That's why we're not allowed to eat blood. So we see that the nefesh is inside the blood. And now, the, Arizal says the soul that is in our, that, uh, that is over all of the body, but mainly in the mind, the soul wants to do the will of Hashem. The soul wants always to cling only to Hashem. Because over here, the Siyat Adishmeh, the Gimel Rishonot, this is all of the three counts of the Kabbalah, which is wisdom, understanding, and knowing Hashem, the crown. Everything is cling, clinging to Hashem. We want to cling to Hashem. The nefesh, which is the lowest part, which is called, the lowest part of the soul is nefesh, which is in the blood. It's called the beastly soul. Why? Because the blood, you know, runs quickly and it wants all of the pleasures of this world. We need this because otherwise we wouldn't get married. We wouldn't have children. We wouldn't buy a house. But we need to know how to use it in the way of Hashem and not to abuse it in the, uh, and, and use it for the evil inclination. So we need to, to elevate it to a, a, a holy place, but not to use it in the will of the evil inclination. So we need the beastly soul in order to, to have all of this livelihood in this world. But it has to be uh, elevated to a holy place, to a spiritual place. Everything that we do in the will of Hashem. For example, eating, so not to have a lust for eating, but everything that we eat, we say to Hashem, Hashem, we are, we are sitting down to eat in order that we will have the strength to worship you. And then, Besiyat HaDishma, we say a bracha before and a bracha after, the, after, the, after eating, Besiyat So we eat in order to bless. We don't bless in order to eat. So everything that we use in this world, we buy a house in order to put a mezuzah in the house, in order to do Hanukkah, to buy the celebration of buying a house, in order to do mitzvot, good deeds in the house, to read Tehillim, to light the candles, to do everything that we do, hafrashat chala, taking a portion of a chala, everything that we do in order to serve Hashem. That's why Hashem gave us all the physical world. Everything is, belongs to Hashem. Liya kesev azav. Hashem says in the prophet Haggai, it's mine, everything, the money, the gold, everything is mine. You're just messengers. I give you everything that you need for your fixing. So one is rich, one is poor, one is in the middle, one, one is tall, one is short, one is pretty, one is less pretty, one is wise, one is less bright. Everybody has exactly what they need for the fixing. That's why we came over here. So we see that this is the beastly soul that wants all of the pleasures in this world. And in between, there's the heart. And in the heart, there's the Ruach, where the will sits. This is the power of will. Over there, we have the power of will. So over there, in the power of will, over there, this is the balance between the Neshama, that is in the mind, and the Nefesh, the beastly soul that is in the blood. The, the, the neshama, the soul that is called neshama, that wants to worship Hashem, that's the only thing that the neshama wants to do, to worship Hashem and to follow His will. 
and the, the beastly soul that wants to have pleasure of all of this world. And the, in the heart, there's the Ruach that Besiyat Adishmah brings the balance between both of them. We go back to Parashat Shoftim and over there, it, one of the commandments is Son Tasim Alecha Melech. You should put upon yourself a king. And Besiyat Adishmah, when Mashiach is here, Mashiach will be the king of the children of Israel and all of the world. And Bezrat Hashem, until then we need to learn, because you know there's a, a, there's also a deeper in interpretation of it. So what is Son Tasim Alecha Melech? We have to make ourselves a king. How do we make ourselves a king? Because a king in Hebrew is Melech. Mem, Lamed, Bechav. And we said, Sof Maaseh Bemachshavat Tchila. The end of an action is with a, 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 a thought in the beginning. So, Maaseh, we said, is the initials of Maaseh's action in Hebrew, and it's the initials of Moach Shalit Alalev. The mind it, it rules the heart. So let's look how beautiful it is. So Melech, a king in Hebrew, Mem is the first letter of the word Moach, mind in Hebrew. So Besiyat Adishmeh, the Mem of Melech, of king, is over the mind. And then Lamed, Lamed is the first letter of heart in Hebrew, Lev. So Moach is the Mem of the Melech, which is the mind, and then Lev, which is the heart, this is the Lamed of Melech, of king. And then we have the Chaf. Chaf is the liver, which cleans the blood, and the nefesh is inside the blood. And over there we come to action, because the blood flows over all of the body and gives us the strength to, to do action, to come to action. So we have Melech is the initials of Moach, Lev, Bekaved, which means mind, heart, and liver, and liver where the blood cleans the blood, and over there the, the beastly uh, soul is inside. So we see that in order that we will follow the way of Hashem, we need all of the time, Bezrat Hashem, that the mind will rule, the heart will rule the beastly soul in the blood. And by this, we follow the way of Hashem, we will learn Torah, we will follow, we will do good deeds, Bezrat Hashem, we'll follow the commandments and we'll make and we'll give charity because all of the body follows the mind. So it says, Besiyat Adishma, so the average between the mind, the average between the mind and the beastly soul is the heart. Over there is a decision. Why? Because the, the will is in, in the heart. The will is in the heart, and over there is the sh decision. So what did we say? You remember Masechet Baba Metziah? It says the two are holding a talit. And both of them are arguing that I found it, I found it. So who is the talit? Is the Adam, is the human being. And the Siyat Adishmaya, who are the two ones that are fighting over the Talit, over the small city, which is the human being that we spoke in Kohelet, the little city, the small city that, well, that we have, is the good inclination and the evil inclination fighting over the control of, of the human being. And where are they? And where, do they, where is the place that they're sitting? It's the heart. Because on the right side of the heart is a good inclination, on the left side of the heart is the evil inclination. So they sit over there. Masechet Brachot, it says in Masechet Brachot, it says in Masechet Brachot, page 7, Amud Aleph, it says like this. Tanya ve'el zoem, now we learn that it's written in Tehillim, chapter 7, verse 12, ve'kel zoem bechol yom. So it's, it means that God is angered every day. So it says in the Gemara, Vechama Zamo, so uh, how much is he angry? It says, Rega, a moment. One moment. It says, And there's no human being that can um, determine precisely that time except for the wicked Bil'am. Because he knew the, exactly the time when Hashem is angered. That's why in the, in the prophet Micha, Hashem tells us 
just a minute, in the prophet Micha, Hashem tells us over there, he says, he tells us like this, Ami, zchor namayatz balak melech moav, and we, we say that in all the 10 things that we need to remember. He says, my people, remember what Balak, the king of Moab, wanted to do. And what Bilam ben Beor told him, Minashitim And in order to know the, the righteousness of Hashem, and he says, It says over there, My ולא כבו אל, ומה אזעום ולא זעם השם. It says, השם is not angry. השם did, and why did השם get angry? Why does anger one moment? In order that we will take, it says over there, that we need to make our, the, the, it's, I'm going again, again uh, I'm going now to page five in Masechet Brachot, and it says over there, אמר רבי לוי בר חמא, אמר רבי שמעון בן לקיש, לעולם ירגיז אדם יצר טוב על יצר הרע, שנאמר רגזו ואל תחטאו. It says, a person should always constantly uh, uh, make the, ev- the good inclination uh, angry at the, at, the, at the evil inclination, against the evil inclination, it says over there, why tremble and not sin? So how can we make the good inclination uh, angry at the, against the evil inclination? By the anger that Hashem brings one moment of anger to the world. And by this we don't sin. And because of this, that there wasn't the anger in the world for one moment, because of this, the, the tribe of Shimon fell with the women of Moab and, Moab and Midian because there wasn't any anger in the world but from Hashem, spiritual anger to help the good inclination in order to overcome the evil inclination. And Hashem didn't, wasn't angry for one moment in order to save the children of Israel from Bilam. So, Bezrat Hashem, what did Bilam, what can a person say? Atat Safot says, so what, can, what word, can, what kind of a uh, sentence, a word, can, what kind of curse he can say at that time that Hashem is angry? Because it's one moment. It's a split of a split of a, of a, of a moment. So what can it written over here, Be Bagmara, how much is it? So the Atat Safot says, that the word that Bil'am wanted to say is exactly from the end to the beginning of the word king in Hebrew, Melech. So he wanted to say Kalim. The Chaf will be, Melech is Mem Lamed Chaf. It will start from the end, it will be Chaf, Lamed, and then Mem. Which means Chaf is the liver where the beastly soul, what cleans the blood, the beastly soul it is in the blood. So this will be first, then there will be the heart, the lamed is the lev, the heart, and then will come the, me, the mem, which is the moach, which is the neshama, the, the part of the soul that wants to cling only to Hashem. Why? Because like they are fighting over the talit, like the evil inclination, the good inclination, are fighting over the control to rule the body, the small city, the body of the human being, to rule the, the human being. So this is the same thing. He wanted that the beastly soul will rule the heart and both of them will rule the, the, the neshama, which is in the mind that wants to cling only to Hashem. And by this, the person will Will sin and he will be in the hands of the evil inclination and then all of the everything that will happen to that soul when it goes out of this world in this world and, and then goes to the true world to the other side so so what do we see in parashat balak so it says in parashat balak that hashem knew what he wanted to say so he made him say a blessing, and the blessing is Vetruat Melech Bo and the blast and the shout of a king in him in the Jewish nation because Hashem changed the letters that he wanted to say Bechazarat, straight to the word king so it will control it will control the human being we go now to Masechet Brachot Masechet Brachot, again page 5, Amud Aleph, and it says over there, Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, 
We just said that לא לא מרגיש אדם יצרה טוב על יצרה רע, that always we should aggregate that good inclination against the evil inclination שנאמר רגזו ואל תחטאו, which means that tremble and don't sin. And then אם ניצחו, and if he won, כלומר if he, if he won the good inclination won, so it's fine. But if you, he didn't win and still the person wants to sin and the evil inclination controls him, ואם לאו יעסוק בתורה, which means if not he should be engaged in Torah studying. And again, if he didn't succeed and the, evil, and the person couldn't overcome his evil inclination, then if he didn't succeed, then he needs to, to recite Shema Yisrael. Then he needs to recite Shema Yisrael Besiyat Adishmai in over in order to have to, to remind himself of Hashem and that he will make Hashem king in the world Bezrat Hashem Lekabel Ol Machut Shamaim that he is a servant of Hashem. And if it didn't help, a person should remember Yiskor Et Yom Amita, remember the day of death. that eventually we are going all to, uh, to pass away and the clothing of the soul, which is the body, will go back to earth, which is created from earth, will go back to earth and the soul will stand in front of Hashem for judgment. The soul will stand in the court of heaven in front of God for judgment, for everything that we did, everything we said, everything that we did. So all of these things, studying Torah, reciting Shkriyat Shema, reciting Shema Yisrael and the remembering the day of death are parallel to all of these levels, all of, the, all of these three levels of, of the soul. Because when we study Torah, then we study it with our mind. So once we're studying with our mind, we're cleansing our mind and our heart and our beastly soul to do the will of Hashem. When we say Kriyat Shema, when we recite Kriyat Shema, Shema Yisrael, Besiyat Adishmaya, then we are cleansing our heart in order that our heart will follow the way of Hashem. Because over there is the balance between the soul that is in the mind and the beastly a soul that is in the blood. And when we remind ourselves the day of death, Then Vesiyat Adishmaya, we're cleansing the beastly soul to remind, okay, what, why are you so enthusiastic for all of the parties and everything that is in this world? Remember the day of death that we go and we, then we stand in front of Hashem. Da me'ayin bata, u'le'an ata olech, u'lefne mi'ata atid liten din v'cheshbon. Know where you came from and where you're going to and in front of whom you're going to, be, to give judgment. So all of these three parts of the soul Besiyat Adishma is in order to cleanse all of us and to help us to do the will of, the will of Hashem. May Hashem bless all of you and Klal Yisrael and the whole world that we will all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzidkenu Barchamim Morim B'mara B'yameinu Amen. אליהו נביא זכור לטוב, לא למי פרד אדם מחבורו בדבר הלכה, יחיד ברבים הלכה כרבים. אמן.